when I click on this it becomes red when I click on this yellow and green to achieve this you need to learn a special technique that is how to use set values I am going to teach everything in detail so without any delay let's get started all right to learn this the first thing we will do we will add few buttons okay I'll add one button here and before you add a button it's best practice to have a layout so let me put a container layout and slightly enlarge this container and then inside this I'm going to put some three buttons okay like you saw I'll use the first button and I'm going to change it to let's say red go to general and I'm going to say red and uh, I want to resize this button a little bit okay so highlight this remove the auto and I'm going to make it to let's say 20 percentage click outside um, still it's 100 percent selected 20 percent okay done and the same thing I'm going to copy okay copy paste paste and the second one we will change it to yellow the label in the general tab I will change it to yellow and the third one I'll change it to green okay so now three buttons has been done uh, below this I'm going to add a simple text box so let me add a simple text box okay and I don't need the label so I'm going to delete the label done and here if I want to enlarge it slight a bit uh, size I'll remove it let me make it to 100% let's see how it is appearing okay so you can see it has become slightly bigger now the real thing comes how do you the moment I click on it it should change the color of the text box now for that it is pretty simple highlight the first button and we have to set some event rules so I'll click on event and I'm going to click on create rule okay and here I'll be learning how to use set values very important uh, rule set value how this one works the moment you click here the moment you click here it brings you a resource page now in the re resource page whatever your page contains the buttons the text boxes labels whatever it contains the containers right it is going to show you the list of all different controls getting it in your page whatever controls are there it is going to show everything now my target is the text box so here there is something called text dot value I am going to expand this text dot value okay the moment you expand all the properties that you have seen a text box has a property like color background color and so and so forth right so here one of the property if you scroll down one of the properties background color what I'm going to do you just have to double click on this the moment you double click it is going to bring here the set value item to set so that means I'm telling hey when somebody clicks on the red button where it is written red the moment he clicks on it what it should happen it should set the background color of what the text value because I have dragged and dropped the I have gone to the text box and selected the property once again I'll show you this is very important click on it just click on it once and then you will have all the controls select the target control whose color you would like to change here is the text box and here I'm going to double click on the background color and you can target all the other properties also you want to set some other value and do some experiment you can target the other values or the other properties of the container clear now here I am going to set some value so what I have done I have got some hex codes for every color there will be a hex code okay if you want to google you can also google it okay red uh, uh, hex code like that you can type and you, you will be able to find the hex codes so similarly I have got some hex codes with me red uh, for red yellow and green there are different shades so this is one of the red shade so let me copy this and here I am going to set the value here simply copy paste nothing to do here so what would happen anyone 
who is going to click on the red button the event will start and the event i am saying the text box background color you have to change it to this hash code it will set the value to that the moment the value is set what would happen the color of the text box will change generally if i ask you to manually change it what will you do you go here to the style isn't it and then there is something called background color you go to this property and then here you can change the color right the hex code will change same thing we are doing it through set value activity set value activity is very powerful there are so many things we can do with it so this is one example so let me just hit on uh, preview and the same thing you have to repeat for yellow and green okay nothing much so let me show you so if i click on this red button what it should happen it has got one of the shade of the red getting it and the same thing you have to apply for yellow and green so try this out and let me know in the comment section if this was interesting for you to learn and uh, we are going to NUS meet in our next content so till then take care bye bye